So this great cemetery was opened in 1851, starts off with a load of classical monuments, a bit romantic, and then we get into this very interesting period in the 1870s when these are scenes from operas. So here's a young widow and her husband has died. There's no kind of representation of death. We actually have a man with a couple of pillows and she peeks in to have a look at him. And here's somebody else. Look at the shoes, beautifully observed. His son is comforting a female relative who's got some lace layers on her dress and a bit of embroidery. And look at his coat, all the creases in the coat. It could be plasticine. It is an opera. And then, kneeling alongside is the grandson, again, dirty, needs mar white marble, needs a bit of cleaning. Look at his boots and his little socks and his corduroy trousers, kneeling on a jacket so his knee isn't hurt. Now, the most famous person in the cemetery is the hazelnut seller. She was a very modest nut seller who saved up all her money to make sure the most famous sculptor in Genoa sculpted her. Look at her earrings made of hazelnuts and then her hair and her hairstyle and the fringe on her shawl and her necklaces of hazelnuts, as mentioned in Suor Angelica, the, the damask skirt that she's wearing with, that is slightly stiff and has these folds, all marble, absolutely extraordinary. And she hangs out with the most celebrated characters of Genoa of that time. And then up the hill is the tomb of Mazzini, who was a great part of the Risorgimento and Verdi uh, knew him. And then I'm showing you a few uh, jellyfish. They always get a very bad press. Genoa has an amazing aquarium. But I do ask how they show us all these fish and then they show us penguins eating fish. <laughs>